Hi corset lovers, welcome to Vlogtober day 13. Uh, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing some cleaning around the house. And these are light chores, meaning they're really easy for me, aka giving the floors a lick and a promise, a once over kind of thing, as my late grandma used to say. See how I bend down to pick things up and then stand back up pretty slowly, ensuring that my back is straight because if you move fast with your corset on, especially when you're doing really light chores around the house, it'll hurt. So yeah, make sure you drink lots of water when you are corset training, especially when you are cleaning. It's easy for me to carry things around the house, like this bucket of water. I didn't fill it up all the way, but I mean, don't be picking things up that are like, you know, 40 pounds, don't move furniture, things like that. I love those little mopping shoes because when I mop the floor, my feet don't get wet and they kind of like, they're microfiber I believe, so they kind of help dry the floor a little when I walk around them. So yeah, I'm like bending down to mop under the floor and, you know, do the cat litter box. Pretty self-explanatory stuff here. I just kind of want to emphasize, you know, you can pretty much do anything in a corset, even clean. I get comments like this all the time. Can you do this in a corset? Can you do that in a corset? I mean, I'm sliding down a wall and sitting down to have a drink of water. So you can even do that in a corset. Right when I started filming her, she started purring. How sweet. Cute baby. <laughs> My little girl. She's so precious. So yeah, when you get up, when you're after sitting down in a corset, make sure you get up slowly. Uh, here I'm going to climb a mini ladder. Like I said, these are light chores. You know, like I said, vacuuming, light mopping, putting more bird feeder juice in the bird feeder. <laughs> I put my hand, I, when I walk around and you see how I have my hand on my hip like that or on my waist, I just have a habit of doing that, especially sometimes with one hand just walking around. But I notice it does like ensure that I'm standing straight up when I do that. I don't know, it's just a habit, but I've kind of gotten used to it. And like I said, it does help sometimes when I can tell if I'm like leaning or something. So yeah, this, uh, this here is not scripted. So I'm just kind of <laughs> going off of whatever I see in the video. About to put this bird feeder back up. Careful. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, do anything in a corset. Walking back. It was there was like a light drizzle earlier, which was cute. We miss drizzle, don't we? I'm so over summer. So after the hummingbird feeder um cleaning, I put some bleach in the sink just because you know they're wild animals. You want to ensure. Okay, so you see this. This took up half of my day. This stupid sprinkler started leaking. I had to get like three neighbors involved because I literally had no idea what I was doing. I don't know if you can hear my cats in the background fighting, but I was fighting with that sprinkler earlier. We had to dig things up and I finally got the part at Lowe's, so that was cool. Taking a break, relaxing, having some water, realizing I'm hungry because I haven't eaten, you know, having a sip of coffee, of course. This is like a quote-unquote El Pollo Loco bowl I make. I got the idea from El Pollo Loco with, um, you know, rice, black beans, corn, and then I think I threw in an avocado. Of course, I got everything wet. <laughs> I spilled the water. Cutting up the avocado, putting it in the microwave to warm it up, and then I think I added cilantro on top. Yeah, so I'm sprinkling some cilantro on top and then, of course, salsa. I love hot, hot salsa. Super good. And I'm going to go sit down and enjoy my meal. Oh, and that drink, like, don't tell anybody, but I like to have my seltzer. <laughs> it does have bubbles in it. I don't condone drinking bubbles or any kind of sparkling drink when you're wearing your corset. You'll see here why. I... Ooh, yeah. It really gives you achita or heartburn and you feel like you have to burp. <laughs> so yeah, I finished my meal, floss my teeth, of course. After every meal, guys, floss your teeth. 
And now I'm gonna get started on my apple cleaning because we are about to make apple cider and applesauce. So washing the apples like I did in my pie video. I'm not gonna show every single step that I showed in my pie video, but you know, cutting my apples the way I cut it the way I cut them last time. The way I cutted them. <laughs> And then I'm going to put them all in a blender to blend them up. And I mean, I had to keep like stopping and starting the blender because I had to like scoop it with that spatula. You just saw that pink spatula just to kind of get the sides off get just or just get the apples off of the sides. And then... Yeah, and I noticed that the apples in there got darker, and I was like, it looks like I added cinnamon to it. I swear I did, and it tasted really good, though. It tasted very sweet, to be honest. Um, So this is the first strainer, and then that's the second strainer. I strained it double, just to ensure that there was the least amount of pulp as possible. And then I tried it, and it was really good. <laughs> My sinful cup. And then I put that in the fridge to cool it off, or whatever that's cool it down here's the applesauce it was really good too i had some later on in the evening which i didn't show but i'm gonna end this vlog by tightening up my corset so here we are i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog be sure to like this video and subscribe and comment down below if you like apple cider and applesauce love you all to the end